you uh, chemists can figure out what it says there. We all know what it looks like, and that's all I'm interested in. These are the parameters we chose. I put these in color because when I bring up the charts here in a minute, the first couple I'm going to go through be a little more detailed, but it, they're kind of pretty busy. Uh, but I want to explain what's going on, and then from there on we can just kind of flip through and for ease because as I said, I want to pitch this question out to all of you because we didn't really find anything, but we want your suggestions, observations, or whatever you've got to supply for us. This is actually what we were looking for. We pitched out a lot of numbers. We've tracked a lot of trends. You know, everybody's done that. Years ago, uh, we didn't have the stuff we have now. Now we've got these controllers that are sitting out there all day long, have nothing else better to do than sit there and grab every card. You know, that's all they got to do. And then it sends all its information over, information over to a host computer. All it's got time to do is sit there and pick up all this information. They can just chart it. So if you're a technical person, you can get all the information you want to. You can't say grace over it. But we actually thought we'd be seeing some of this. These are some of the examples of what we thought we'd look like. These did come from our wells, but not the wells in the project. Uh, as y'all can see, the red one is the original card, and you can see the distorted card where the uh, loads went haywire. Here's one that's supposed to be a steel string. It's not uh, one of ours. I understand it's BP, so I borrowed it from him, but I'm giving you credit for it now. Nice card. I wish I could have found one that way. At least I could have said we succeeded in something, but not so far. Okay, as I said, they're a little busy, okay? But you can see where we charted the polished rod load and green on top. Now, we did have some failures in these wells, and if I didn't mention it, we did continue our truck treating system that we normally do. Everything else, with the exception of the paraffin treatment, was just business as usual. If something failed, we fixed it, okay? This one, we had a rod part, th top glass. Uh, we did make a small change in it. You can see where the loads varied a little bit, but not enough to cause us any any problems. We couldn't see anything, in other words. Yeah, we do see some slight variation, but we didn't see enough in the card to tell us let's go do something about it. Uh, the dotted line goes up and down. That's when we started it. That's back in March the 16th, the first three months was back to the year, beginning of the year. From, 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 from their own, it was time forward. And the last piece of it where you see it's kind of crowded or cramped up, that's the last 30 days. Uh, it just doesn't take an average. It takes every position that's being plotted on that particular day. Now, the runtime did go up. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, it, there may have been a change in the controller setting, but it did go up. But we didn't see anything in the card. That's what we were looking for is the card distortion to tell us something. Did the production go up? Uh, I don't think it did on this one. We'll get, I think we'll get that in a minute. It may have. That's the next chart. Oh, I'm sorry. Lying to you. Okay. The 